Okay, so we're here at the Milton Velodrome with Eric Van Den Eyen, the, the coach of the Paralympic team. And Eric, a very exciting time for the sport. I know you have a lot of history. Seeing the track here must put a big smile on your face. And of course, the results we're seeing, uh, Tristan and Ross, uh, Wilson, and, and of course, Daniel and, uh, and uh, Jean-Michel. Uh, tell us how it feels uh, as you come into Rio. Uh, Redal, eh, we get two at home. That's a little bit different. Like normally, we have like a short camp because we can afford it so many camp. Now we have the opportunity to come more often, like work, go back home, prepare for the next camp, and so so. Like uh, we saw the difference in the World Championship this year. Yes. The result of the the team uh, show a little bit more tool to prepare. We have a good athlete, now we get a good tool, then they fit pretty well. It works really, yes. really well together. And, and it's, it's amazing how we're all seeing the results happen so quickly. When you think about the juniors that just were meddling at, uh, in Switzerland, yeah. and then you talk about the, the, the worlds in Italy, and just seeing the performance, the track is really a game changer. A game changer, and not only that, it's like when somebody has success, make believe the other can have success. You know, it's like something, it's, 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 a, it's a pathway for the other two. Yes, of course. Um, I know that there's plans to have an, a velodrome in Edmonton at the Coronation Park. I also remember uh, we wrote something about Bromont maybe having a cover track in Quebec. Is there something uh, along those lines you're aware of? Uh, it's all the time like it's get a lot of discussion. I've been involved in, uh, in the Edmonton uh, speaking like uh, maybe 15 years ago. Okay. And. Uh, you never know, but you need only one good and stance of people they kind of uh, push it forward. Exactly, and then until we speak about it, they still have some life. And in Quebec, it's about the same uh, to put the cover on it. I have a lot of discussion, but I mean, we still have the discussion. Yes, that's it's still good. at the talking stage. Yeah. But now that we see the success that's coming from the, the track, maybe it's bringing more push in that direction. Yeah, but he. It's like everything, those those big equipment came sometime with gains, like that one. Yes. And sometime you have to come when the economic is favorable. Fa yes. Favorable. Fa fa favorable. Favorable. And, and sometime it's not, you know. And uh, Yes, it's a lot of things that have to come together exactly. to make it happen. But it, it did happen when we built uh, the center in Bromo. Sure. You know, that's why, like, I'm not negative, say it will never happen. Sure. You know, uh, when they destroy Montreal, I didn't think I will be still alive when he will have a new velodrome the same way. But he so turned and him. he came. Yes. So you are you remain optimistic but also realistic. Exactly. Well listen, thanks for spending time with us, Eric. All the best on the path to Rio and when you're down there, we wish you all the success. Thank you very much. We appreciate it.